She got a little give to the road. <laughs> These are what I was talking about the other day about frost boils. And this is a road that is particularly susceptible to them. But it's a road called the road to heaven. Because there was one brother that lived down there and another brother that lived down there. Yeah, they kind of bickered a little and the one down there always referred to this as the road to heaven. But I think partly because it's kind of, when it was made, it was made with the best of intentions, but what they did was to take a bunch of old tree stumps and, and branches and everything and they threw it in here and then what happens is later on they rot and, and then the road gets breaks through in them spots. But also it's coming off of the high ground to the lower ground so there's springs under here. So every year when the frost goes out of the ground you get the frost pushing the water and mud up through right in the middle of the road. And you really, I have to tiptoe around them because if you drop, <laughs> you could go deep. You could go right down to the frame. But there's, it's starting to come out of it. You know, it, which it always does once the frost goes out enough that the water will go down into ditches. But there's a point in here where this gets to be almost impassable. And the problem is, you know, the people who lived out here before knew that, but we have new people that move out and they are, they've got a lot of horses and they keep running horse trailers on this road and, and it's got to be quite a ride when they hit these holes. But I have to be really careful and kind of tiptoe through here because I could easily drop her in. I got to straddle that center of the road. But eventually it comes out of it, but this could be a real bugger at certain times of year. But it is known as the road to heaven. Both of them brothers are long dead, but the name stays.